heart-wrenching moments for the family of murdered Sheriff's Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer. His family says they were really shocked by the L.A. County District Attorney's public announcement that his office will not pursue the death penalty against the man accused of killing him. Tonight in a one-on-one -on -one interview, we sit down with George Gascon to ask him about his decision and if he has any regrets about how it was handled. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade is live in Hollywood with the story. Mary Beth. Hi there, Micah. And yes, Gascon says that among the reasons that he is against the death penalty, he says there is no finality in it. He tells us that they are costly and that the appeals drag on for decades. He's just making us feel like we're nobody and we're not important enough and Ryan's life wasn't important enough. The grieving fiance and mother of slain L.A. County Sheriff's Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer told us Wednesday that they're disgusted that L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon will not seek the death penalty in this case. Klinkenbrumer was allegedly gunned down by 29-year-old Kevin Salazar two weeks ago while he sat in his patrol car not far from the Palmdale station. How dare you tell me that my son's life is not worth filing the death penalty. Gascon responded Thursday to our request for an interview and reminded us what his stance is on the death penalty. The other component to this is I've run on a very clear platform and that was that I would never seek the death penalty. The family also told us they were completely caught off guard when he announced his decision about the death penalty during a news conference as they stood behind him. He did come in and meet the family prior to the going out there. No. Nothing was said to us as far as the charges he was going to file. We were not front loaded. Um, when you all found out, that's when we found out. Gascon has a different recollection. I'm, I'm very sorry and going back, maybe I should have been more clear. I talked to the family before we went out when we were in the green room and I said, we are seeking life without the possibility of parole. Although the death penalty is off the table, Gascon assures he will seek justice for Ryan. We have a tool that a lot of places do not have. We have life without the possibility of parole. And that is what I believe that is appropriate here. We asked Gascon how he feels about people serving life without parole. And not speaking about Salazar's case directly, he says in certain situations, some people should be reevaluated over time. I believe that there, there needs to be a pathway to look at people's behavior over decades later and determine whether it continues to make sense for them to be in custody. And Ryan's family tells us that they are now in the process of planning for his funeral. It is going to be on October 5th in the cathedral downtown. It's going to be followed up by a burial at Forest Lawn in Glendale. For now, reporting live here in Hollywood, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.